Right, so recently I've had quite a lot of people in the comments being like, yeah, well, mate, you should definitely do that roast yourself challenge. You're a pretty little freak. I'd like to see you cry. But if I'm honest, right, I don't think I really need to. Little T, he's already done it. The Tic Tac bloke's already done it. You look like Garrett. Fails, little brother, you idiot. And worst of all, right? Well, y you lot do it every day. Like, we've already had the, the Lego head comments and the, the Yao Ming comparisons. That one still hurts because it's pretty much true. Like, if you want proof of just how savage my comment section is, right, have a look at this. This is a comment taken from that video where I was talking about the boat that was going to be called Boaty McBoatface. So this, this is Amelie. She's savage. So Amelie jumped in the comments and was like, it's not called Boaty McBoatface now, it's called Sir Richard Attenborough, right? Fine. Sound comment, no bother. This is where it goes downhill. Brookie here replied, I would have called it Malone Boat. No idea what that means, but I mean, there's, there's no wrong with it, you know, just let Brookie have a say, you know, keep herself happy, whatever. To which Amelie replied, I don't really care, babe. Whoa, whoa, lad, settle it down. I've got to deal with this type of stuff every day, man. Like, you lot, you know, you, you get to come here, click on a video, and you'll be gone within 10 minutes. This goes straight to my phone. Right, so I'm probably not the most popular person in Blackpool right now, and I've been getting a lot of comments recently, which I'm fairly certain are coming in from the Northwest, and some of them are horrendous, so I thought I'd just compile them into one big video. Right, so we'll start it off with the comments on the video that started this whole thing. Just show me what the fucking video is. I couldn't care about your worthless opinion. Fucking hell, Ollie, you sound like me mom here. Ha ha, look at your hair. Then you try step up to the mic, you fucking gay spunk. How old are you? And your balls net dropped yet, you fucking choir. Well, that delightful piece was from Spunky Sauce, Yummy the Cummy. Lovely. Now, this is David. David's a simple man. You're a cock. I've got to be honest, I quite like his style. Now, this one isn't a hate comment, right? I'm just including it to show you the true savagery of this comment section. So in the video, I was talking about how little T threatened to rape someone's little sister. And I made a comment along the lines of like, oh, how, how does he even know these comments? He's like 12. To which James KingCon 123 replied, I learned those words when I was six. I am the one, the way your time don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Will, you talentless, ugly, faggot bitch. He spelled it interestingly, like, but you still get the gist. Yeah, mate, do you want to know who's even more cringe? You? <laughs> oh, piss off, Peter, you fat prick. All you're doing is slamming kids getting into grime music. That's right, mate. Take away that one single positive outlet this child has. I'm gonna rape your little sister. You're not funny, mate. I think you're a sad person. Big up, little T. Positive outlet? Ha! You fucking idiot. That's all there is to say about you besides the fact you're slagging Blackpool off. Love to see you do that down these ways, kidder. So that was a comment from Jamie here, who's 18 months old. Fantastic vocabulary for someone so young. This one's a little bit different. Fuck you. You're an assaholic bitch. Thumbs up on this comment if you like Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, I mean, you, you can't really argue with that logic. So now we'll move on to the second video I made about BGM. Oh, yeah, mate, you're very brave behind the camera, like. Shut up, Richard, you're a castle. Nando's activist comments on infants' attempt at grime. Jesus Christ. To be fair to him, right, I've got nothing to say to that. Nando's activist might just be the best insult I've ever heard. So, you know, fair play to him, 1-0 and that. You're a bit of an iron, but you make me laugh. And then this guy commented, your accent is well shit. This guy's name is Guy. Good name that. Parents must definitely love him. I think you need a better hobby to be honest. To be fair, he's probably right. Listen here, you fucking sad prick. I don't like these Blackpool grime heads, but you and your plasma TV head. Plasma TV head? Oh, for fuck's sake. Is the one making videos about them and giving them attention. You owe them for your highest view, you tit. Now go make some videos without giving idiot attention. Fat-headed prick. Cheers, mate. And then there was this bloke who was just on an absolute mad one. Why did you take it upon yourself to write and say the N-word in your video when you are white? You skinny white racist prick. But I hope I don't see your privileged ass on road or you're gonna wish you never said that. Exclamation mark. So what he's on about is when I used a clip of Little T saying the N-word to complete my sentence when I was talking about him saying it, right? Little T called Afghan Dan and Bigger. So I used the clip in the audio and I wrote it starred out on the screen, right? Just in case people had missed it. Which I thought was acceptable, but let me know if it's not, right? But this bloke, he was having absolutely none of it. So I replied saying that I'd started out, to which he replied. So that makes it okay, does it? You blatantly said the word in some distorted voice and wrote it. Like, big man, using some stock photos with some Comic Sans text over them is about the extent of my editing ability. Like, how are you trying to say that I've used some gypsy editing trickery to turn my voice into that of an overly aggressive 12-year-old? So I know the title says BGM hate comments, right? But I've got a couple of other ones recently that I really want to include in this. So you might remember a few weeks back, I did a video on ASMR. And at the time, if you search for ASMR, it would show up in the search results, right? Which meant that at the time, just before everyone was going to sleep, I'd get this stream of comments telling me to kill myself. My favorite one of which being this, right? So a Chinese 
Chinese person person left a comment, but they'd obviously use Google Translate, right? An ass in lion's suit. I'm, I'm gonna make that be Twitter bio. And then there was Bryden, who didn't like the video, but kept coming back on numerous occasions to tell me that he didn't like it. The motives behind this video are questionable. Questionable? I'm not, like, plotting a mass murder here, mate. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you want to follow me on Twitter, my at's here, my Instagram's down below, and my Snapchat's just to the side there. If you have enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like. It means a massive amount to me. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.